sheer sandy cliff sides, a chasm formed by millennia of rushing waters. It's one of the seven natural wonders of the world. The Grand Canyon may be in our own backyard, but have you ever seen it from up here? This is Papillon Grand Canyon Tours. These guys go out all day long. For them, it's an all day job. For people like us, it's a once in a lifetime experience. I'm in Boulder City hopping on a 30 minute helicopter ride to the Grand Canyon with a bird's eye view of everything in between. Chris, I know you've been uh, getting everything ready. What do we need to know? All right, for, uh, just before we get going, we do have to do a little safety briefing here. So we do okay. have to wear these fashionable flotation devices. <laughs> Gonna hand it to you. All right, flotation device because we're over the river. Over, over the river and over the lake, yeah. My pilot is Chris Kimmel. He's been flying helicopters for over five years and gets to do this every day. Sometimes when you're doing something like this, you feel like you're maybe getting out of your comfort zone or something you've never done before. It's always good to have a guy that you trust. You just, you know he knows what he's doing. Let's go for a ride. Let's do it. You can scooch on right over beside me there, co-pilot. All right. Co-pilot, hey, I like the way that sounds. We're ready for takeoff. What's our altitude? Uh, right now, only about 300 feet above the ground, uh, above sea level, about 2,700 feet. So up ahead of us is Lake Mead. It is one of the largest man-made reservoirs on the planet. That was created back when they built the Hoover Dam, which we'll see here in a few, uh, few seconds. But uh, the lake is really popular for recreation, um, swimming, fishing, sailing, uh, you name it. Lake Mead was constructed as a byproduct of the Hoover Dam, and water actually flows through the Grand Canyon in order to get there. You're gonna see the Hoover Dam just up here to the left behind this bridge. I'm going to be here in just a few seconds. It was completed in 1935, and it's about 220 meters tall, about 730 feet. It's a hydroelectric dam. So the way that works is uh, water will flow through the dam and spin giant turbines, which generate electricity. During the Great Depression, the Hoover Dam was instrumental in putting Nevadans to work, and it served as a major advancement in American architecture. Today, it attracts tourists from all over the world. We've been up about two minutes, and this is breathtaking. It's phenomenal. Am I seeing different states, or am I still uh, looking we're at actually in the, Yeah, we're actually in Nevada right now, and that's Arizona, just across the river there. That is the Colorado River down below us. This is where the river leaves the lake. It's hard to believe that 20 million years ago, this temperate river was carving through and eroding the surrounding rock, effectively forming the Grand Canyon. If you look close above the uh, water there on the high side of the dam, uh, you can see that white line on the rocks. We call that the bathtub ring. That is how high the lake used to be. Uh, it is losing water to the lake, and they estimate in about seven years from now there won't be enough water in the lake to actually power the dam. You can actually see how large it used to be if you look out there. You see those dark little hills out in the valley? Yeah. The lake shore used to go the whole way to the bottom of those. Uh, the last time the lake was full was 1983. California, New Mexico, and Nevada depend on Lake Mead for water. Seeing the depletion from up here makes it clear that we need to conserve it. All right, here's the big question. How did, how did this thing get formed? Okay, so there's a few, uh, there's a few different uh, arguments, but the most widely accepted theory is the erosion theory, uh, where the river, the Colorado River here, cut down through the land over the millennia, uh, along with the wind as well, ripping away at the, the walls. They do estimate the canyon to be about 17 million years old, uh, and it was formed solely from erosion from the river and wind. That is the most widely accepted theory. Layers of the canyon date back to over 1.8 billion years ago. That's the pale pink layer you see on the bottom. You can identify the age of each layer by its color. It's interesting how the rock formations have different colors, like sort of that orangey. Yeah, a lot of iron uh, mineral in the soil here. Is it the red color? That red wall limestone formed there 340 million years ago. You can drive through it, have that experience maybe with your family, but until you've done this, you haven't really seen its magnificence in a way that, that is just breathtaking. Yeah, it's really, really uh, breathtaking. Gonna make our descent here. Time for us to touch down. Here, listen, I'm gonna give this to you. I'm gonna do some exploring. Alrighty, enjoy it. Thanks. Chris, I was just checking out the river and the walls, the height of the walls, I just, you, you can't stop looking at it. 
It's mind blowing, right? And I like to point out the layer, the layers for everyone here. Um, it's one of the best places on the entire planet where the Earth's crust is in layers like this. So paleontologists and geologists come from all over to study it. What do you take from this? Yeah, I'm out here every day and I try to remind myself uh, how fortunate I am. I try not to take it for granted. And every day there's something new and I get to show people from all over the world the Grand Canyon, one of the seven natural wonders of the world. And uh, so it, I'm very fortunate and I love it. That's what I find about great experiences, that the first thing you want to do is you want to share it. Absolutely. You're a great tour guide. You took me to the perfect spot. And I just want to thank you for Absolutely. this today. I can't stop looking at it. You know, part of my job description is to relay an experience like this to you, but sometimes words just fail. So you and I are going to make an agreement. You're going to come here and you're going to do this and you're gonna put down your sunglasses and your cell phone, you won't even try and take pictures and you'll just soak the whole thing in. And you're gonna find an experience that's so good, so great, so profound, it'll change you forever.